that's a that's what I wanted to do. Get a good brim out on a jerk bait. And he absolutely smoked that. Crank him in a Easy went hard, oh my god. Okay. So that's cool. No, nah, it's throwing back, mate. There you go. Okay, so that's that's the lure. It's a crank of minnow in Hardy Head, I think. The reason I'm throwing this lure is because it's matching the bait in here. So yesterday I was in here and you'd actually see the bait this little silver flashes I'm not sure exactly what the bait were but they were definitely silvery and I think that's one of the most important things you can do is match the bait and you know you're in with a really good chance that was a good fish he actually went really hard for his size He's not a bad one actually. He's a good fish. Jeez, he's sort of dictating to me a little bit there. Isn't he? Yeah, he's good. He's a really good fish. Change the overfill baby vibe. First cast. First cast. Bang. Ate it on the drop. I don't know what it is about this lure. It's a really good fish. A kilo fish. Any ones, even when I over exaggerate, this is a really good fish. And the hook, oh, sorry, the lure came out of his mouth. I wonder if I was recording. All right, let's get the fish out first and deal with him, and then we'll get the lure out later. Just don't want to hook myself. Look at that thing. Check it out. Really good fish. All right. Thanks, bud. That was awesome. Okay, now I'll try and get this out. Okay, so it has to come through here. Ah, got myself in the finger. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that's the that's the little river to sea baby vibe. Um, replace the trebles with decoy size 14 YS25. Bob's your uncle. It's 
funny how I just wanted to see if they were on the boat holes. But I haven't even, I haven't even fished a boat hole. He's just always seen to eat his, eat his lure on the drop. So I'm watching my line, I'm trying to keep in contact with the lure. I'm just taking up the slack, but I'm trying not to drag it away from the structure as well. It's only little, but Let's see if he can. Does he want you got that really well? It's better. All right. Okay. Oh, he's got that one in so hard. Okay, buddy. There you go. Nice little legal. Uh, again. River to sea, baby vibe. Thirty-five. Didn't swear. That was a really good fish. Really, really good fish. I might need to take a moment to compose myself. Disappointed as he wanted that baby vibe, smashed it, and just went straight under everything. It's not a lot I could have done, to be fair. I think. Weird as. Went straight. Oh, it's a brim, it's a good one. Which it seems like a brim because they use the big ones usually do come to the surface like that. 
the good thing was he came straight out and didn't go in to the structure. Yeah, he's a good one. It's been pretty productive today. Yeah, he's a really good fish. Yeah, he's nice. Like, he's a great fish, and imagine how big that last one would have been if he just absolutely roasted me twice. Nearly done. Yeah, that's four. Four and one absolute roasting. Yeah, he's good. Oh no. Okay. Oh. There he is. Nice fish. And then we crash in here. All right. And that one was just at the pole. Really like when the pontoons have poles on them. That's a good cast. You think it'd get eaten on the drop? Oh, it did. Oh. Oh my God! It got eaten on the drop. That was unbelievable. Should be paddling out, but I'm not. Oh my god, that was funny. Oh, he's foul hooked, I think. That's why he went nuts. He's not that big, he's just foul hooked. Oh, he's alright. Yeah, good. No, he's good. That's five. I think I've got one on a... Oh, no. That's better. I've got one on a cranker minnow. And then the rest have been on this baby vibe. Oh, he's got that bloody line in his mouth. Okay, okay, mate. I'm gonna have to retie anyway. Okay, it's another good fish. Good stuff. There you go, bud. Thanks for that. Okay, let me just check this. Because the other line. He actually had the one in his mouth. That feels alright, to be honest. I mean, I'm lazy as. But don't be like me. Don't be like me. Retie, because you know, you never know when you're gonna get the fish of a lifetime. And you want everything in your favour. You don't want to be mucking around. You're breaking a line when you know you should have retied and you just couldn't be bothered. I was so confident I would get a fish on that cast.